sharing economy is the real economy. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with another look at some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. This is episode 51 of Good News Next Week for the week of June 5th, 2017. Coming to you from the balcony garden here in Portland, Oregon. Hope you're doing well and safe whenever and wherever you are, and we appreciate your support at MediaMonarchy.com slash support. This week is the perfect week for a Good News Next Week episode because it's what's called Global Sharing Week. June 4th through the 11th, and it's basically a way to highlight what's being called the only real sustainable economy, the sharing economy. So there are groups all over the world, and you can find them, and again, everything we say and play will be included in the show notes. I believe it's globalsharingweek.org. It's a way to find all kinds of groups all around the world. You can find places closest to you that are doing swap meets, food shares, pantry, clothing swaps, any number of community-oriented things that basically puts your goods to use and leaves it out of the big boys. It's easy. It's one of the fundamental things that we're doing with alternative media. It's what I do with Media Monarchy. You've never heard an ad. I've never tried to sell you anything. But if you like the work, we'd appreciate your support. That's how we continue to do it. But I give you the work for free. And, and again, that's part of this sharing. And that's part of the sharing economy. We've done previous Good News Next Week episodes about bread companies and about food waste and about community fridges. These are all of those things, all those little ideas all around the world, all kind of coming together. And so we're, we're proud to be able to mention Global Sharing Week with you. And again, huge thanks to everybody who shares these good news stories using hashtag good news next week, like our buddy James Corbett, our co-host of New World Next Week. This, of course, is the spinoff from New World Next Week. Alabama woman invented basically an artificial pancreas to help people with diabetes, like herself. And rather than deal with all the regulations to get involved with medical businesses and devices, she gave it away. She went free. It's open source. Hundreds of people are already using it. These are the fantastic ways that, again, that people are inventing and creating the solutions that we need and not putting it behind a paywall and just sharing it. Our buddy Keith in California, he's on the tweets at Courage Sower. He pointed out Sacramento's Yisrael Farm transforming the hood for good as they are launching their summer urban food projects. Growing our own destiny. Project Good. Urban farms in Sacramento, California. All the way over around the other side of the world in Russia. Volunteers clean up Russian Lake Baikal, and they just did it themselves. They didn't wait for government, much like even the so-called Portland anarchists here that are filling potholes. You just do it. You do work that needs to be done. Ohio, meanwhile, sets a huge precedent. They've actually filed suit against some big pharma corporations for knowingly and deliberately fueling the opioid epidemic that we've been talking about and, of course, as hugely affects my home state of West Virginia. And Frankie's too busy chasing around bugs, so I can't get her in any of the shots in this video. Watch her go. Meanwhile, in the so-called live free or die state, New Hampshire cops actually tried to embarrass this guy that they arrested for some tiny amount of weed by putting his mugshot up on the Facebook page. And what did he do in his mugshot? Made a big face. Why did he make a big face? Because it's a joke to be arrested for a plant. And it backfired on the New Hampshire cops, just like it's backfiring on a lot of cops trying to use social media for PR for their theft and kidnapping. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to laugh in the face of the law. I actually have a mugshot I've never seen before when I got arrested for a plant back in the 90s in the state of Maryland. I've never done the work to try and dig out that uh, mugshot, and it is expunged from my record. But I made a big, goofy, smiling grin on it. It's like, hey! Because again, even then I knew, this is a joke. And now we've got the scientific research to back it up. Cannabis may help treat schizophrenia. That's from Medical News Today. And cannabis reduced frequency of epilepsy seizures. That's from the New England Journal of Medicine. Both of those stories from a good buddy Chris over at Mary Jane Report. And we'll always talk about a little bit of cannabis good news here on Good News Next Week, just like we do on our monthly installment with Mr. Chris, your Mary Jane Report. Again, you can find all that in the archives over on Media Monarchy as we head back here to Oregon as we wrap up with our last couple of stories here on Good News next week. Medford Doctor. Medford is a city in Oregon. He's doing away with insurance and he's basically starting what he's just calling a subscription service. Sounds like a pretty good idea. 
And finally, a bit of an update on the story we talked about a couple weeks ago on New World Next Week. That Oregon man, he's temporarily won the right to call himself an engineer. Now, when I talk about Portland, of course, we've got a lot of bad news going on here, and we've got ridiculous protests and counter-protests, and a lot of people playing the phony baloney left-right game. And the last note I'll make on here is the New York Times had an editorial called When the Left Turns on Its Own. Now, I don't think it's a very good use of time to spend all of our time laughing at the left-right divide. There's too much progress and work to actually be done. But when we see the things happening that are happening now, Kathy Griffin and Bill Maher, it's reaching ridiculous proportions, and we kind of talked about this. They chewed through all the phony right people earlier through the year, whether it was Alex Jones to Bill O'Reilly or the rest of them. Once they went through the fake right, you knew they were going to turn on themselves. They're going to turn on the fake left. And the good news part about that is, is it means we're that much closer to this entire charade kind of falling apart. And hopefully it's not going to fall apart with screaming and chaos and cities on fire. It's going to fall apart with a whimper. When the cops wonder where everybody went and why aren't they fighting us anymore, it's because we've started our own communities and our own sharing economies. Agorism, my friends. And that's how we wrap up your Good News Next Week, Episode 51 for Global Sharing Week, the week of June 5th, 2017. Again, we can only do this with your support at MediaMonarchy.com slash support. We've been around since 9-11-05, nearly 12 years of independent, non-commercial alternative media. Signing up to Patreon.com slash MediaMonarchy is one of the best ways to give us that monthly support that we need to keep going and growing and moving and grooving. One other good news note, because I don't think I've really talked about it here yet as we are closing up. I've pretty much launched my own stream. MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. We are broadcasting live Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 9 to 5, MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. News, music, and more brought to you by you. I'm James Evan Pilato, your host, webmaster, DJ, and so very much more from the MediaMonarchy.com kingdom. Thanking you so much for watching and reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com support, and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.